Hello there. I am T. Hyatt, and I am showing you my, well, the beginning parts of me working on my garden. Last time I showed you the things I was going to be <clears throat> planting, or at least hoping to plant most of that, of those plants into our garden. Uh, I do plan on also growing some herbs too, uh, parsley, cilantro, basil, um, mint, lavender, uh, crap, uh, a whole bunch, uh, 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 at least a dozen types of herbs to be growing in my garden. So right there in that corner right over there, I have already gotten the pot set. This is a great big green one. Regrettably, it's not a very sturdy one. But in that one, I do plan on planting uh, uh, green uh, green onions, uh, the two different types that I showed you. And then in now, granted, in that one, I put now, like I said, we'll do probably the green onions in that one. Um, which green onions uh, will not? It doesn't take too long. If I remember correctly it doesn't take too long for them to grow and everything so but the on the upside though of, of, of green onions is the fact that I can actually uh, I can cut the green stalk off and then just leave the bulb in and then it just continues to regrow and regrow and regrow so therefore of course I will have a continuous supply of green onions to eat for our family, which is a good thing, like I said before, because you know, what I, you know, you know, like I said, and again, like I said before, my family goes through, me and my husband can go through a lot of them. But yes, this is what I, this is how many pl uh, pots I have. Currently, I do plan, hopefully, to have more in the coming future and to be putting in, uh, now, granted, some of these um, but now these big pots, these big cloth, uh, pots that I have right here, I do plan on using, um, these things for, uh, the tomatoes, excuse me, the tomatoes and the peppers and, um, maybe for a few, um, Sorry, maybe for a few herbs as well. So, just to give you a quick overview of what I have to work with. Granted, it may not be a whole lot, but it's a beginning, it's a start, and I'm thankful for it. Uh, again, if any of you have any ideas of what we can use or if you know you know sorry um uh if you if you like what i'm doing great um again everyone's situation is different everyone's uh well everyone's technique is different too so I hope by seeing this, maybe this sparks some ideas uh, to help you out with your own gardening. And then, um, again, if you have any ideas or suggestions of what I could use to make my garden even bigger, or and then um, and for us to use to um, you know stretch things out, that'd be awesome. Well, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And a shout out to all your mom mothers out there. Seriously. I... <laughs> you guys, all, all us, I'm a mom too. Uh, we put in a quite a lot of work. But for those of you mamas who are now grandmas or, e or even young mamas. Like, like, like myself, I mean seriously... Uh, who are uh, and I seriously tip my hat off to you because if you are also working, 
uh, cred load of hours. Seriously, I seriously do take my head off to you. You have you have something I do not have. So, uh, happy Mother's Day. So, yeah, seriously, happy Mother's Day to every single one of your mamas out there. And if you are doing this on top of everything else, keep it up. Because trust me, it will keep it up. It will help. And uh, we are all, all of us mothers want to make our children happy. But also, we definitely want them to be healthy. And to be strong. And to be smart kids uh, as well. We want all of our children to be that way. To be with, and with a very much loving, caring, compassionate, understanding heart. <clears throat> so keep it up, mamas. Let's keep chugging along and let's keep moving forward. <clears throat> and let's keep things and let's keep things going. Love you all. And God bless. Bye.